Hey there, comic book fans. It's time for us to take a look at The Lawnmower Man, story by Stephen King, art by Walt Simonson, the Artist Edition Portfolio. Now, this is by IDW, and it's slightly different than, well, actually more than slightly different than the IDW Artist Edition books, because it's not a book. It's individual sheets. And Lawnmower Man was originally in Bizarre Adventures number 29, the black and white magazine from Marvel. Lawnmower Man, Greenberg the Vampire, Mirror Mirror, and Bucky Bizarre. Let's see, when was this? 19... 19... December 1981. You can see it's uh, printed in black and white. It's got a weird, uh, here's the cover as a print. It's not quite as uh, bright as the original printing. A bunch of people running around down there. And then the rest of it is full color scans of the black and white artwork. And as you can see here, he used a lot of whiteout to make that grass. That's all whiteout over uh, black ink. Let's see how that printed. And it prints. When it prints, there's no grays print. So all that, all that stuff that was sort of grayish white becomes much whiter when it prints. Oh, you can see that in the flags, too. And the stars, the seal of stars there, how they're white, and here they wash out a lot more because uh, that's the way they print, because it's only pl printing black and white. And this is a uh, 1981 Walt Simonson, so this is a little bit different. You can see how he does all this line work he loves. So it's, and this is a quite a different story. We'll move those over there out of the way. There really isn't a whole lot of story there. Give you a close. I couldn't. And some of this stuff here, if you look at his hand right there, he's using some sort of gray pencil. I don't know if that's a wash or a pencil. It's tough to tell. But you, since it's a black and white book, he's using a lot of tone, which then prints. Where's that? Where'd that hand go? Back to the second page, which then prints as a you know as prints as a dot pattern tone, right in there. But you can see he's using a lot of different line stuff. He's got the three different lines of grass out there. It's an interesting job by Walt. Dog teeth barking. Lots of lines on that cat. You see he's using ink splatter a whole lot here, probably once again, because it's a black and white book. It's not going to be any color, so we wanted to get some more interest in it with some uh, ink splatter. And here he used more gray back there. That looks like a wash. I think it, like I said, some of this it is very tough to tell from the reproduction here. If, it, if he used the side of a pencil to make that gray, I think he may have used the side of a pencil. Um, and there, you can see that blue line there is the corrections. Looks like uh, spelt Sheila wrong in the lettering. That, those are, yeah, those are just uh, any, um, anytime you see an original art, those are uh, proofreader corrections right there. I want to see how all that gray on that lawnmower printed. Hold on. Oh yeah, see a lot of that... A lot of that uh, gray showed up as white, so it's much more high contrast when it prints. You can see the difference. Much more, and that's the stuff you have to know, which I'm sure Walt does. 
when you're uh, drawing for print, you have to have some idea of how, when you're using these grays and stuff, how's it going to come out and print more. Like I said, I think that's side of his pencil rather than wash, but I'm not sure. Lots of grass there, kid. The story itself in this uh, looks like there was uh, some rubber cement stain up there. I don't know if it was rubber cemented on this. But this, this is a tape stain down here. They used to tape the page numbers on. Um, though there's no page, that, it's odd. Usually they, pape, they, they tape, for most comics, they tape the page numbers on in the middle, as you can see in the original art. But here the page numbers are in the corner, so I wonder what happened there. The story, the Stephen King story is a little weird in that there's not a whole lot of story there. It's just the lawnmower, some guy lets his lawn grow long. Has to call some crazy lawnmower guy, and the crazy lawnmower guy eats him, or something like that. I mean, it's just a short horror story. Lots of gray, like, yeah, I think that's side of the pencil gray, rather than wash. The gray of the newspaper, let's see how that printed. Let's see if I can get this over there. See how that guy, the gray behind him, actually the gray behind him printed much less evenly than it uh, was put down there. That's interesting. The gray of the newspaper is around the same. Maybe a little more variation in the printed version. But it's neat to look at these uh, pages as if they were original art because they reproduce it as closely to the original art as they can. Ah, nice effect there with the gray with him and white behind it. Let's see how that printed. So you lost a lot of the gray values in the printing. It's not quite as dramatic as it is. Matter of fact, you can see uh, all these, he's got some little lines in here that closed right up when printing. That's, that's something, when you're printing something, you always have to watch out, because some, if you make something, if you make little scritch scratchy lines, they can close up into one big black, because when the ink hits the paper, the paper absorbs it, and the lines spread ever so slightly. That's just something to uh, look out for, and that's interesting to look at. Once again, lots of, lots of line work here from Walt, lots of little scritch scratchy lines. His inking isn't quite as varied as it is today. He's got a different line. And I think he was also doing something different with his story, being that it was grayscale. Roar! Look at that. I like his, his grass he's been doing this whole time is interesting too. Oh, well, there's even some... No problem, buddy. No problem. Gonna write... Okay, so he's got, he's got some notes written on them. Interesting. And there's the... That's definitely pencil marks right on that wheel, giving us the tread of the wheel. Let's see how that printed. On this side... Interesting. Those pencil marks printed pretty well, it looks like. Overall, the lawnmower, all, all those grays printed pretty well. like all those lines he's got over to the side of grass coming out. Neat stuff. There's our lawnmower man, eating grass. Like I said, it's a weird story. The lawnmower man printed. Yeah. Stop that. Stop that. Guy down there. Alright. Here comes a page with lots of patterns in it. And more spl ink splat. Nice patterns in this grass over here. Well, he was really working with all sorts of different textures and patterns in this story. Not usual for your average uh, comic. Oh, look at that guy. Huh. 
a lawnmower man. More grass motif even in his fainting. SS backslash Nora there. Hmm. Toward the moles. And then it's blank. What does that say on the printed version? It looks like there's a word missing. Hold on. Let me find the page. Not that one. Am I getting out? There we go. I think there's a word missing. Harold, watch. Stunned, revolted as the lawnmower man swerved towards the moles. Mangled body, eh? Oh, I guess we get mangled body over there. Interesting. I guess they uh, decided they didn't like what that word is over there and put mangled body and over here. You can see the correction over whiteout. And there's actually different lettering on that because uh, I'm sure whoever lettered this issue wasn't the same. Whoever letter corrected it was in the office. And whoever was on lettering corrections then. Interesting. Hadn't it? More, I think, edge of your pencil gray, side of the pencil gray rather than wash. Cap, so what does that say there? Cap, grass, background 20%. Hmm, wonder what that means. Maybe that was notes to himself while he was penciling. Because he's from the pencils and inks on this. But this is like looking at the original art, holding it in your hand because the reproduction. I like those feet. You can even see the white out right there. More lettering corrections that look like they were cut, probably cut off. I don't know why. Sometimes they cut at the printer. They cut the pages. I'm still not sure. Probably to get them to fit on something. There you go. More edge. Yeah, I think that's definitely pencil and. Let's see what that looks like printed. Still could be. Where do we go? Do I have these pages? Do I think these pages are out of order with. Oh yeah, that printed about the same. Roar, roar, roar. Printed a little differently. Another lawnmower. Yeah, I think my portfolio pages are definitely out of order. And more notes. Now, if I, if I was you, just show me the. Yeah, it's. Uh, he's writing the roar. The lawnmower roared off the top step like a skier leaving a jump. Some nice gray. More white out right there, you can even see. That's amazing. I really enjoy these artist editions. Nice police. He looks, uh, he must have been photo referenced. That page there looks familiar somehow. Nice police car. Oh, I like that figure of the cop walking, too. That's neat. And the final picture of the lone mower man. Lots of line work. Look at that nose. Lots of scribbling. Let's see how that printed. Oh, look, there's an overall gray tone to it, too. Which isn't in the original page. They must, they must have added that in later. As you can see, I don't know if you can see it there. There's, there's a, looks like there's a slight gray tone to the whole last face panel that isn't in the original art. So, must have been added in mechanically afterwards. Wow, I like that eye. All right. So anyway, there you go. 
That's the Walter Simonson Lawnmower Man Artist Edition. Hope you had a good look at it. I enjoyed looking at it. And you guys have a good one out there.